circular reasoning, also known as a circular argument or a circle in proving. It's a very old concept. The Latin scholars called it circulus in probando, which means circle in proving. It's a logical fallacy in which the reasoner begins with what they are trying to end with. It's a defect in argument where the premises are in just as much need of proof or evidence as the conclusion. There's no reason to accept the premises unless one already believes the conclusion or that the premises provide in no independent ground or evidence for the conclusion. A simple way to describe this is like this. A is true is because B is true. B is true is because A is true. I ran into this when I was doing anti-defamation work for 25 years to defend the patent community back starting in the 80s and going through the 90s. How did it work? Certain religious and law enforcement people took the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, a famous forgery which first appeared in Russia in 1903 and has been thoroughly debunked. The Russian authorities purported to have found a proof of a series of lectures which they intercepted which showed a secret international Jewish government which was plotting to take over the world. No evidence for this, but they went out and they spoke about this in public. And, of course, people started talking about it. And so these people in government said, see, it must be happening because everyone's talking about it. And then the people go, see, it must be true because the people in authority are saying that everyone's talking about it. You see, it goes around and around. So what happened in this case, in the Satanic Panic, is they took this protocols myth, they dusted it off, they renamed it the Wicca Letters, they claimed that the law enforcement authorities had seized proof that Satanists had planned to take over the world, Satanist pedophiles who were sacrificing children. And they told this story, and their followers started to talk about it. And then they pointed and said, look, our followers are talk people are talking about it out there, it must be true. And here we go again. Now why did they do this? Money, influence, and power. They used it to get donations to their churches or their causes. They ended up in front of a microphone, in front of a camera, and got attention. They got power. And they used it to prosecute countless innocent people and create bogus recovered memory therapy with no basis in scientific fact. It was what caused the McMartin daycare trial, which was the most expensive trial in California history at the time, and was thoroughly false. People were prosecuted for no reason. It ended, fortunately, in lawsuits and prosecutions and faded into the background, but it didn't go away. Now, take the same debunked myth, rename it QAnon, replace Jew or Satanist with Democrat or Immigrant or Antifa or Black. Apply circular reasoning. Go out and tell a big lie with no evidence. And then get your people talking about it and then point to them and say, see, they're talking about it, it must be true. Put out requests for donations to defend democracy. Stand in front of a camera and get attention. Use it to try to seize power. Look what happened last week at the U.S. Capitol. Now, fortunately, in all of the cases I've described, the majority of people realize that this is a fallacy and they know that there's no evidence for it. But unfortunately, what a lot of people do is to sit back and go, well, perhaps it will go away. It's not. Unless you push back, they're going to try and run over you this very vocal minority. So enough already. Circular reasoning is straight out of Nazi Germany. Goebbels used it. We can't allow people to keep doing this. People who are involved in this need to pay the consequences. We need to, just like in the satanic panic, finish this with lawsuits and prosecutions. Thank you for listening. Go out there and be glorious.